for Dateline is Jane Pauley. Good evening. The 90s was the most successful decade for African Americans in sports and music. It was also a decade in which we saw the reapers of such a successful era fall victim to senseless acts. Like Ray Lewis, a wealthy football star for the Baltimore Ravens, who was accused of stabbing a man to death outside of an Atlanta nightclub. Or mega hip-hop star Sean Puffy Combs, who was accused of being in a shootout at a bar with his girlfriend actress Jennifer Lopez. Or the recent fight that broke out at the Source Awards, rap's version of the Grammys. With all these senseless acts of violence, there is one question that comes to mind. Is money driving Negroes crazy? <laughs> We decided to visit Bling Bling Laboratories, a facility that is dedicated to the black experience to find out why large amounts of money seem to make black celebrities crazy. Dr. Reynolds is a leading psychologist who has also written the bestseller, Why Brothers Be Trippin'. <laughs> Let me ask you straight out, doctor. Is money driving Negroes crazy? Absolutely. Let me explain. There's a special ink that our money is printed with, and in this ink there are enzymes that are attracted to melanin. So when it touches a uh, black person's hand, it's absorbed through the fingertips. Now, over time, a uh, black person can accumulate a large amount of this enzyme in their blood system. Well, is a high level of this enzyme in the bloodstream dangerous? Let me show you something. <laughs> the enzymes by themselves are harmless, but watch what happens when ink from the money is combined with alcohol. <laughs> this combustible reaction is what happens when they have a lot of cash and alcohol in their system. Their brains just explode. <laughs> Let me show you something. This is multi-platinum recording artist Juvenile. First, I'll hand him a fistful of $100 bills. Oh my God, what's happening, doctor? He's absorbing the ink. Now watch what happens when I give him alcohol. <laughs> ah, I can't take it, huh? I'm gonna kill my baby mother, put her in the trunk of my car, huh? I'm gonna kill my baby mother, put her in the trunk of my car, huh? Doctor, is there a solution? Let me show you something. Actually, I can just tell you. I'm currently working on a formula that will help keep money out of Negroes' hands. That way they can have all the white Zinfandel they want. Well, good luck then, Doctor. The next time you hear of a black football player beating someone to death, or a rap star shooting up an awards show, or one of them coming after me after this report airs, remember, it's not their fault. They're simply victims of success. For Dateline, I'm Jane Pauley.